Identifying airplanes during the wars had to have been difficult, but with airplane art, it made it easier for the soldiers. This was just the beginning of it. It started as just a way to identify friendly units, but as more and more people did it, this became a tradition. People started putting different pictures of things like cartoon characters, pretty girls, sayings, etc. on the noses of their airplanes. The first reported use of any sort of art on an aircraft was in 1913, when an Italian boat plane was seen sporting a sea monster on its nose. Italian pilots regularly decorated their war planes with distinctive markings. True nose art appeared during World War II. This time is considered by many observers to be the golden age of the genre. This work was done by both professional civilian artists and talented amateur artists serving in the theaters of war in Europe and the Pacific. At the height of the war, nose artists were in very high demand in the USAAF and were paid quite well for their services. The first true piece of nose art, rather than body, tail, or paint schemes, was the iconic shark teeth design. This particular design has proved to be a popular decoration with fighter aircraft. Nose art reappeared in the theater of operations in both the Korean and Vietnam Wars. It can be argued that nose art has become its own distinct type of folk art as it is not only promoted individuality, but it also produced some of the most recognizable and iconic pieces of art that continue to be used today. More than that, each piece of art, much like a painting hung in a gallery, tells a unique story for each individual aircraft. As Veterans Day approaches, we thank all military veterans that have proudly served our nation.